Hello, my friends. How you doing today? I am doing well. I'm I'm doing. Listen, I'm doing I'm doing great until the point when listen. Okay, okay. I, I'm opening a forum. Okay, this is a conversation that we're gonna have, and you're and you're gonna give me input on this. Okay. Now I know I know you're here on YouTube watching me on YouTube, but but I'm also on TikTok. Okay. Um, I'm not a big TikTok fan because I figure TikTok it, it's it's like ten minutes. You get you get ten minutes of of maximum. Uh, pleasure, okay, or enjoyment, or so, I, I, whatever you want to call it. So, uh, but what I'm finding is, is that sometimes I'll find myself, I'll get up, I'll get up early in the morning, and I don't want to wake up the family, okay, and it's usually on a Saturday, usually on a Saturday or Sunday morning or whatever, don't want to wake up the family, and I'll put on TikTok, okay, and uh, this is a conversation me and my wife had in the car the other day, I said, I told the wife, I said, did you ever notice that I, I, I think that TikTok was created by the devil, okay, I, I, I just, just, just hear me out, hear me, listen, Listen, let's, let's expand our minds here. Let's, let's think about this for a little bit. Billions of people, probably. Billions. Billions of people look, looking at TikTok every single day. I see people all the time. Is, is it in waiting rooms? I, I see them walk walk in through Walmart, okay? And they're they looking at their TikToks, okay? I don't know why they, they feel the urge to be walking with the carriages and looking at TikToks. I don't know why. My, my daughter, we go to stores. She will not leave the car. She's like, I don't want to get out of the car. I don't, I don't want to get out of the car. I don't feel like going to that store. I don't feel like going to that store. I'll stay in the car and I'll watch some TikToks. Uh, lunch break. Okay, lunch break comes. Uh, she goes up in the, in the lunchroom, uh, sits in there, and she she sits there and watches TikToks. Okay, goes to bed at night. Uh, all, all my kids sitting there watching TikTok. Wife, TikToks, okay? Now, maybe it piqued my interest a little bit on what exactly TikTok's all about. So I'm like, okay, you know what? I'm going to start watching some more TikToks, okay? I'm, I'm going to see what TikToks are all about and see what's going on. So I, I started watching. I know we have an algorithm thing. If you don't know what an algorithm is, I guess it's uh, if you start watching certain things, then then the computer, uh, something in the matrix is able to tell you what you want to watch next, okay? And it starts picking things for you. So that way you start having things one after the other after the other. The other. Okay, so uh, my choice of TikTok videos are... Uh, nostalgic stuff okay i mean this is this was the channel's all about it's all about memories okay it's all about toys it's all about uh uh movies and and making memories and stuff like that and and uh i got some stuff i got stuff i'm gonna i'm gonna show you today that, that i got in the mail some stuff that i already opened and some stuff that that is that has to be opened okay uh but before that i just want i want you to I want you to so, so today's gonna be something so don't don't be get i know i'm gonna have the two or three people are gonna hit me with the uh this is a, a like a 20 minute video and you complaining got complaining and ranting and raving about about tiktok it doesn't make any sense and then you're gonna go unbox something listen this is how I stop my videos. This is how I stop my videos because I got things in my mind. Uh, I, I don't have a lot of a lot of physical friends for uh, people that I can actually call on the phone or whatever. You are my friends, okay? So you part of this channel. You subscribe to this channel. You 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 my friend. You 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 my you my outlet. Okay, it's, this is like me calling you up and, and asking you advice. I'm asking you advice, okay? So I'm finding anyway that I'm watching TikTok videos, and they're depressing. I mean, I mean, we're talking crazy depressing. We're talking like like uh, oh yeah. okay hey. I, the filters. Let's, let's talk. Let's talk about these filters, okay? I if my kids come over and show me another, uh, this is what you looked like when you were like in 1994, and this is what you look like now, okay? Uh, I, I don't know what I'm gonna do. And in the, uh, this is what you're gonna look like in the future. You see, you see, you see these. You know, you know what I'm talking about. I'm sure if you're a TikTok person, you know what I'm talking about. This is this is the one, that, and they always play that. Forever young, I wanna be forever young. Yes, we all wanna be forever young, but what, we don't wanna see what we're gonna look like. Like thirty years from now, I don't. I don't want to see what I look like when I when I'm like great grandpa when I'm like ninety something years old with the with the big beard and, and weighing another fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty pounds more than what I weigh right now. And I and I, and I definitely don't want uh, me and the wife side by side with my my arm around her and have that scan thing come over there and and see. Listen, th this is this is going to totally mess up relationships. Okay, I'm sorry, it's gonna mess up relationships. Okay, because you number one, this stuff isn't a hundred percent. This isn't true, okay? This is this is a, a an app or something uh, or a, a filter that's supposed to make you feel. I, I don't I don't know what's supposed to make you feel depressed. That's what's supposed to make you feel depressed and like totally like like ready to give up on life. That, that, that to me that that's what TikTok does to you. Uh, those videos, okay? So a part of my algorithm. So I I got tons and tons and tons of these young people getting older and then old people showing you what it was like when you were in high school and, and it makes you sit there and go, man, I miss high school. Man, I wish I, I was telling my kids the other day, I'm like, I wish I could go back for just one more day, one more day in high school and, and hang around my friends or whatever. And then, and then my kids, this was, this was their response. 
then we wouldn't be around dad. I'm like, listen, 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 no offense to you people, okay? You people that live in my house now, you people that, that, that me and the wife created, okay? But I had some fun before you people showed up, okay? I had some fun, okay? I, I went out, I had friends, I had like real friends that, that, that like we, we went out, we did things, okay? Uh, but now I have a family, okay? Once you have a family, uh, the brakes go on, and, 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 then, and then you have to stop making sacrifices. You start sacrificing all kinds of crap. You sacrifice and they sacrifice and that because your time is now monopolized by kids and now, now I got grandkids, okay? So so my time is now monopolized by all of this stuff. Meanwhile, they still be having fun. They in high school. They they out of high school. Some are in college. Okay. They go to plays. The pot of plays. The pot of sports. The pot of this. The pot of that. Pot of that. Listen. I wasn't part of much in high school, but I but I had fun. I had fun, and I had happy places. Happy places I went to. I went to the movie theater. I go to the movie theater all the time, okay? Two movies a day. After I get out of school, right to the movie theater. I go watch a couple movies, whatever, and then I come home before the streetlights came on. That was, that was my only rule, okay? I'd save my lunch money, and i go watch a movie, and that made me happy. That was my happy place, okay? And so so when I watch these videos on TikTok, I'm like... And, and, so, so the next part of my algorithm, okay, is not just the old to young and young to old depressing videos. It's It's... Uh, like almost like a do you remember like this is this is 1994 or 1997 or 1998 and it shows like high schools and the kids the way they dressed and the way they looked or whatever and it's always that sad nostalgic music in the background of something that was like your favorite song uh don't know what you got till it's gone don't know what it is i did so wrong uh, uh, it's, got, it's got crap like that in the background and you're, and you're looking at this thing and you're like Man, I remember when I used to dress like that. I remember when I used to have my hair like that. Man, I remember when we used to have hair. I remember, I remember when I didn't have gray hair. I remember when I was smiling. I remember having fun. I remember waiting for the bus. I remember where my bus stop was. I remember all that. Oh, thank you, TikTok. Thank you. I was happy a few minutes ago. But now, now I'm totally regretting the whole all kinds of life changes because because of because of you. Th thank you very much, Mr. TikTok. You you done you done made me made me rethink my whole life in in like less than ten minutes. What what a, what a great concept okay another one i turned on the other day was um uh stores that no longer exist all these st i'm like they're like they show like sears and apex and caldors and woolworths and i mean half of these things you're probably my my, my 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 followers are probably like what uh, caldors woolworths what, what what are you speaking of mccrory zares ames all these places like that i'm like oh man these were like my places to go kmart i used to hang at the K bradley's I used, to, I used to hang at the mall and go to kmart and bradley's and go to the movies and while we waiting for the movie to start i go over to go over to kmart and get my candy and then i go over to, to walmart and, and, and not walmart um uh bradley's and go look at my my, my cassette tapes or whatever thank you thank you tiktok for totally messing with my head okay because that, that's what it does that seems to be my entire algorithm my entire algorithm is is depressing, nostalgic stuff that you look at and you're like, man, it's like toys that used to be around in the 80s, and toys that used to be around in the 90s, and places you used to go, and and, and it's and, and, and let's just let's just you're looking at all this stuff and the way you used to dress and all the things that used to go on, and then you look at it and, and it's like all gone. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, thank you for thank you for reminding me that life be sucking. Thank <laughs> thank you that there used to be a good happy part of my life where I used to be very relaxed, enjoyed everything. And everything. now now I'm just full of bull, bull bulls. I'm full of bulls. Yeah, I'm full of, full of bills and worries. Okay, Th thank you for for taking me out of reality for a second, and then actually putting me back in the reality where my reality was happier, and then putting me right back in the same. Now and, and I I'll, I'll I'll literally sit up on on the end of the bed. And I'll look around in my room and I'll be like, this, this, I, it's almost like that uh, talking head song. This is not my beautiful house. This is not, this is not, then the days go by. I'm like, I'm like, they the water hole. I'm like, this isn't what I, what I, I expect. I, I miss, I asked my wife the other day, we were going into, we were going into a uh, market and I'm like, hey, listen, if we, we start getting some money eventually down the road. Can I turn the living room into an 80s living room? Like we'll buy 80s furniture, uh, get one of those big, big TVs that used to be like a floor model TV, take out the monitor and put in like an HD TV in it. I said, so when you walk into the house, it will look like the 80s. We'll get wallpaper, okay? We'll, we'll make it look like, we'll, we'll bring it all back. We'll bring it all back. We'll put, we'll put stupid things, cactus. People, everybody had cactus, okay? My father had a cactus. Let's get a cactus, okay? I for some reason, everybody had to have cactuses back in the 80s and the 90s, anyway, early 90s. Let's, let's go buy a cactus, okay? Because I don't know why. I, 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 deterrent, I don't know. Maybe we're trying to keep, keep the robbers out of the house. I don't know. But, um, 
Yeah, maybe I'll go buy a cactus. I'll put it in a corner of the room with a cactus and a fern. I have a fern hanging from the from the thing because that's what everybody had cactuses and ferns. Okay, I don't know. I don't know. So I just want to throw it out there: Does TikTok depress you? I mean, yeah, there are some people falling down the stairs and funny things, and you, know, you can laugh, and, and, and it shows you some media stuff that's that's good and enjoyable. And I do follow some people that, that show me physical media and different things like that. So that's enjoyable, too. But damn, man, if not, like, every, like, third one, if they don't hit me with a forever young, you ought to be forever young. You don't you really want to live forever. You're going to die. You're going to die. You're going to die. You're going to die. That's, that's what I hear when I hear that song. Okay? Sorry. All right. Uh, and with that said, I've been collecting stuff. Okay, so so and you're like, yeah, that's why we came here because that's what you do. You collect things. What what and what is your what is your collector's choice of this week, there, uh, Mister Melton Movie Guy, um, Elvira, Mistress of the Dock. Yeah, he has a couple of my movies back there. I I own every movie uh, available on DVD by Elvira. Okay, and they're and they're only on DVD. Uh, they released uh, two on Blu-ray. One was uh, um. Haunted Hills, I think it was. I think it's is it called Haunted Hills? Haunted Hills and uh Elvira Mistress of the Dock. I think I think I got that right. Haunted Haunted House or Haunted Hills. Anyway, they I think it was Arrow released one and the and the other one was released by somebody else. I have those two. That's the only two that are available on Blu-ray. All the rest were all available on DVD. I got them all on DVD. Um and Elvira was kind of like my USA Up All Night um uh horror person okay i had ronda shea for my my 80s screwball comedies okay and i had i had elvira for my horror uh nostalgic uh night of the living deads and and, and her it, they hosted these things you know and i and i, I enjoy, actually you would enjoy the, their humor sometimes better than the movies because sometimes the movies really really sucked you know <laughs> and and then you had their humor in between uh, as they talked to you about the movie so i started collecting some stuff so i'm like okay first thing I wanted a, an Elvira autograph. But then I was like, I was, I was I was stumped. I'm like, do I want a Elvira autograph or do I want a Cassandra Peterson autograph? Because Cassandra Peterson's actually the uh the actress that plays Elvira. And would it be is it is it more um what, what would be worth more value? Okay? Because I'm sure she signs more things Elvira than she does Cassandra Peterson. So in my head, I'm like, okay. Okay, let's start with that. So I'm like, um, I battled with it in my head, and I found somebody that, that was able to sell me one of these. Um, this is, and I'm not going to open it up to show you the autograph because I already taped it up and sealed it and everything because I was like, I don't want nothing to happen to it, and then I'm going to have to rewrap this thing anyway. I bought a uh, first pressing, okay, uh, signed memoirs edition of um, your, Yours Cruelly, Elvira me Memoirs of the mistress of the dock okay so this is her book that she released or whatever telling her a story of how she became elvira and, and and all of her little secret tales of things that she did behind the scenes and all the other stuff that's going on and um she signed this cassandra peterson and um the special thing about this is i this is this one was actually beckett uh authorized okay so you so so she i mean it's legit because it says signature edition right there in the front you know we get the signature edition but um I wanted more than that. I wanted to make sure that, that I got a certificate of authenticity so I can confirm that this was 100% her signature. And it is signed inside. I'll put, I'll put a picture over here. Cassandra Peterson. And it has a little Beckett thing there so I can actually go online and check and see if it was actually authorized by Beckett. Um, so, yeah. that that So, this this was the beginning. The beginning of my Elvira... Um, not, not not collection because I had the DVDs. I had all the movies and stuff like that. So, I was like, I'm, I'm beyond movies. I want to get like... um nostalgic stuff like some like weird collectible things like some stuff that i could put in a glass case that kind of stuff so i figured this was a good start because it's signed by cassandra peterson not elvira okay but really elvira uh then i found a guy that uh was selling uh these elvira mistress of the dock uh figures okay and this is the uh regular edition and then this one is the signature edition now these were sold at target okay and i guess i missed that I totally missed that. And um, this one right here is just the regular version. They're both the same exact figure. Okay, the figure's the same. Everything's the same. Absolutely the same. Uh, I mean, the difference is the box. This one says Signature Edition. This one says uh, Unpleasant Dreams, and that's it. But it says Signature Edition on the side. And this one is just the regular. So this, this is the regular one. They both come with the same heads. They both come with the same everything. Uh, goblet and knife and... and uh, uh, um, candle and everything like that. But, uh, the special thing about this one 
and I'll see if I can uh, put a little picture over here, is inside is an autographed Elvira uh, Mistress of the Dark card, okay? And the base, on the bottom of the base, is, it's, it has an Elvira signature too, but that the Elvira signature on the bottom of the base is actually a pre-printed um, signature, so it's not... Not a legit signature, but this, but it does. This one does come with a certificate of authenticity, with the signature of Elvira uh, Cassandra Peterson signing it as Elvira. So I'm like, okay, well, I'm, um, um, I collect toys, so I'm was happy with that. Those those were actually up there before I put this, the DVDs up there for this video. Those are gonna go back up there probably for uh, the next video. And then I was like, okay, uh, while I'm looking at that stuff online, I see this thing. All right. Let's see here. Um, and I got one more to show you. Cause, cause this is just a stop. This is a stop. I got my eye on one more thing. It's like a figure type thing. Um, this also came in the big bubble wrap thing. This is actually pretty cool. I mean, I'm not. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna show it because the pictures in here are a, a little bit uh, risque. Okay, let's let's let's, let's say ris risque pictures in here. Uh, but this is also out of print and uh, go over quite a bit if you can get it in in like pristine condition. This is a uh, Elvira Mistress of the Dark. This is her photograph collection. So I mean, I don't, I'm I'm just gonna give a quick little, where I kind of just open this up like randomly, and it's just it's, it's just like all of her photographs, you know, throughout the uh, course of her career. Okay, and uh, got a real nice cover. I'm gonna I gotta get some big plastic for this thing though, because I'm a little worried that the slip cover thing is going to uh, picture over the back, picture on the front. Uh, this is not signed. This is not an autographed uh, anything, um, but. Uh, I thought it would be cool to have that. I mean, because it's like it's like all of her like promo shots and the promo photos and promo stuff that that she did. Um, and uh, I, I just thought it, I thought I thought it, I thought it was kind of cool. Um, and last, so for now, for now, because there's gonna be other stuff coming out. Because I did order, in, in fact, a uh, Elvira um, uh, autographed eight by ten that I'm gonna put in a hot plastic frame, and it was uh, autographed Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. And also, I think it's either JSA or Beckett certified or whatever. So it does come with certificate authenticity. I checked all the numbers and everything. It's a guaranteed authentic. It shows a picture of her actually signing the item um, on top of that. So I, I know that's it's totally confirmed. It was done at a private private signing the way she had like a bunch of people come and whatever. Uh, but I saw this and I'm, I'm usually against having these things in my house because I don't, I don't, listen, I got, I got enough evil in my house. Okay. I think a couple of, children might be possessed okay uh but but um so i'm usually against this but this was just too cool it was too cool to pass up on to me i think this is going to be a, a a pretty big collectible maybe i mean it's not worth much right now okay let's so say you you could go right now on ebay you can go on amazon right now and buy this for like 36 dollars to 40 dollars um with the shipping right right now okay um if if you're interested okay um and this is probably something too that they probably sell at like spirits during uh um, the Halloween season, and this is a Elvira Mistress of the Dark uh, spectral uh, switchboard. It's a sw switchboard. Look at that. It's it, it's what it is is a, a Ouija board. Okay, this is a Ouija board um, with Elvira's uh, picture on it. So if I look at the back, this this was sold because I thought this was kind of cool. Um, if you look over here, you see over here. And I want to get the glam, gl glam, gl the, the glare from this ring light there. But I'll try to I'll try to like move it around with it. Um, instead of it saying yes or no, it says yep and nope. And then you got a cool little Elvira picture in the middle of the thing there. And then you got the, uh, what do they call that thing? It's a, um, um, uh, man, I'm going to forget this pointer. Uh, the pointer is called the, uh, uh, bring friends, da, 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 fine. Uh, planchette, the planchette, Cus a custom planchette. Yeah, so this thing right here, the thing that you put your fingers on and you try to, uh, like maneuver around or whatever supposedly when the spirits are talking to you um it's it's like it's 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 a cool elvira setup plus you got elvira right there on the board and and i'll tell you right now this is this will never come out of the box i would never open this up so so i don't think i have any worry about any possession of my house okay because i don't plan on ever opening it. i don't plan on trying to uh uh talk to the spirits um but uh it, it just the, the cover of the box is awesome i mean even the back of the box is awesome I mean, you got you got like a whole cool thing going on, and like I said, thir thirty five to forty dollars. I did a pay in four. I, I bought this actually from uh, eBay, uh, so it literally has cost me ten dollars every two weeks, um, and the thing's paid off. I think I'm pretty sure it's what I paid like forty dollars. I think I paid forty dollars with shipping. So yeah, ten ten bucks every two weeks for for something that that's as cool as this. I think 
I think this is a good start, a good start to my Elvira collection. Um, if you have a, a cool collection of, of stuff there, uh, comment below. I've been getting a lot, a lot of good feedback lately from, from a lot of different... One thing i got to say about my subscribers, you, you all are some good people. Okay, every once in a while I get one or two people that are not subscribers and and they're like 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 a video like this, okay? They they get probably like you put Elvira in a title, why don't you just get to the point? I get a lot of people like why don't you just get to the point? Cuz that's not me. I'm I'm sorry. You, listen, if if you want somebody that's going to get right to the point and just show you things without giving you any background like movies are memories, okay? Things that happen in my life are memories. I I'm, I want to share with you because I want I want to kind of bring you into my world a little bit, get kind of kind of rip open a piece of this part of my head there and have you kind of crawl in you can kind of just just link, linger about on the on the 80 sofa there that's probably like a yellow fuzz type thing there or, or maybe one of those like egg shaped things there that kind of with the with the uh the chain you know the, the, the chairs with that they look like an egg yeah that, it's right here right here and, and that's that's where i want to bring you i want to bring you here and, and and then i i start telling you about things and and we we can we can conversate kind of, you, you you can send comments and um if you you are a long time subscriber or a long time viewer you know that i respond to every comment if if, if i have nothing to say like i really can't like like some people will send me stuff and i, I just don't I'm, I'm a blank drawing a total blank i don't know what to, i don't know how to respond uh, you get you get the the like and the thumbs up so listen you know i'm right you know i read it you know i appreciate it like some people will just put like uh you know they'll, they'll even put like a quote from a movie like i'll post something from a movie and they'll put a quote what do you want me to say about that? You know, hey, I, oh, oh, I'm proud of you that you know the quote. I'm glad that you know, you know the movie. I, I don't, now I don't feel it. Usually when I see something like that, I'm like, I'm glad that they got it. I'm glad they understood it. I'm glad that this is not, I'm not the only one in this world that's seen this movie and is re relating with this movie. Um, So, uh, yeah, keep, 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 uh, keep subscribing, keep sharing, keep commenting. Okay. Uh, we're going to keep going back and forth. But yeah, this is what this channel is about. This channel, this channel is about movies toys nostalgia cds music and, and and my life okay i i tell you about things that are going on in my life yeah yeah me and the wife were in a car the other day we we had to go shopping we were shopping and, and i and i brought up the the, the the issue with the tiktoks i'm like you know i th i think tiktoks are evil i think they're evil because they don't bring me any joy i don't get any joy like i get joy from youtube like i can look up something i'm like and it'll bring me back to a cool place or whatever or i can i can do research on things or whatever but when you, you go to tiktok it's kind of like you're scrolling. You're just scrolling, and you don't know. You you never know what the next scroll is gonna be. They should do like like it, TikTok should be set up like Tetris, okay? Like the game Tetris, where you know what the next block that's gonna come down is gonna be, okay? So you know so you know whether or not you wanna actually watch that block because I I constantly getting trapped into those forever young. I wanna be forever. Yeah, because I don't know what the next block is gonna be. I don't know what the next scroll up is gonna be. Is it gonna be a, a awesome video where I'm some guy's gonna show me a new Blu-ray that he bought, or is it gonna be a uh, a lady falling down the stairs where I can get a little chuckle, or is it gonna be uh a picture of, of somebody that I know that was like 16 years old that's now 85 or and, and they don't even look like that yet but that's what that's what your filter is going to tell you that it is. or those other ones with the little the little boxes on your head you're like which character are you and then you're always like not the character that you want to be it's like which, which grease character character are you and it's like and all of a sudden you end up getting like the the, the, the geek or whatever or a guy you, you, ne you never get john travolta or olivia newton john you always get like somebody that you, you didn't expect you know you're like oh great I, i'm i'm uh i'm rizzo or something like that or, or uh um uh duty or something like that yeah yeah that's, that's depressing okay that's that that's, i don't want to be duty okay do you want to be duty i don't want to be nobody nobody wanted to be i don't think duty wanted to be duty when duty was duty okay and um, half of my people watching the show probably like i didn't even know that guy's name was duty yeah the, the guy one of the guys from greece his name was duty okay I don't want to be no duty. Okay, I want. I want to be John. Atlas. I want to be. I want to be John Travolta or Olivia Newton John. Like I'll, I'll even take Olivia Newton John. I'd, I'd rather be Olivia Newton John. I'll, I'll even take a Rizzo or a Knicky. Okay, I'll take. I'll take them over a duty. I don't want to be a duty. Okay. <sighs> And with that said, my friends, th thank you so much for stepping. I, I hope I, I hope I kept this brief. I, I hope we could talk a little bit about this. Okay, yeah. And after we're done, you know, watch watch some of my YouTube videos. Watch some other ones. Scroll down. Look, search about, search about. Okay, because because some are hits and some are misses. Okay, not not, not everyone's a winner, but but and then yes, they're longer than TikTok videos. But I'm trying I'm trying to keep them lower. I'm trying to keep them a little bit lower because obviously in this world nowadays, if if you if you make a thirty minute video. People are very confused. Very confused. I used to make an hour-long video. People are really confused. Okay? But 10-minute-long videos or, or like, one-minute videos, they love that stuff. They love, absolutely love it. They're like, oh, yeah, I, can, oh, I, got, I, I got my fix. I, I, think, I think that TikTok's like a drug. I, th I think YouTube was the gateway. 
And then people found out that, hey, you know what? I don't need to sit there and watch all of this mess. I can I can just easily get right to the point in, in like less than 10 minutes. And, and, and I can do this while I'm shopping. I can do this while I'm in the car. I can do this. I can do this while I'm laying in bed. I can do this while I'm ignoring my family. Yeah, there's all kinds of fun things you can do with TikTok. Yeah. Um, and with that said, I'm going to say again. With that said, my friends, thank you for coming by. And I will see you later. You should have saved me some. Goodbye.